Uh, just arrived in Galway for the opening night for Jerry Davis's um, new uh, body of work uh, titled Procession. We'll talk to Jerry now in a second and he'll give us a bit of background to some of the work. I'll post most of the paintings later on, but for the purpose of this interview, we'll stay here in front of that. So, Jerry, how are things? Congratulations, uh, since I saw you last. Um, Jerry, it's been a while since we met, so I'm used to... You. In many cases, seeing you in Wickham Street. Are you still at Wickham Street stable? Yeah, still based in yeah. Wickham Street. Uh, coming up on about ten years. Starting. Right. Okay. Good. Um, so this exhibition has about twenty-seven paintings in it. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Um, right. And they've been produced mainly over the last eighteen months or so. Probably. Right. Very good. Uh, with a couple of other paintings thrown in as well. We're here at the Galway Arts Centre just to tell people yeah, looking yeah. at this. So it's a lovely venue, actually. Great mm. pubs too around the place, oh, yeah. all around this area. It's over the bridge, really. Um, yeah. But lovely, really lovely. Um, so uh, the, the theme that's running through that, where, where, where's your thinking behind that? Um, I suppose it's kind of a continuation of some earlier ideas I had in previous exhibitions, but um, kind of dealing with the idea of being a practicing artist in Ireland mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. and different aspects of the art world and different aspects of the lifestyle of an artist, you know. Right. So, okay. obviously, my paintings were very kind of realistic and kind of just very tight depictions of the real world. But right. with this show, I decided to kind of become more imaginative and yeah. introduce more colour and more kind of... Um, Surreal kind of scenes mm. and things. Yeah, there's so. a feeling now. I, I haven't seen all the paintings, but I get that sense, all right, there's that surreal thing to it. I suppose, mm. like most established artists, you go through your phases and you yeah. make a change, quite a dramatic change sometimes. Oh, People, yeah, I think it's important to kind of try and keep it as fresh as possible, you know, because um, there is a temptation to stick with it if you find a winning formula or whatever, mm -hmm. to kind of stick with it. But I think for your own um, sanity and to keep mm. your own practice interesting, it's good to go off on different tangents and how long is the show going to run just so people know that how long is it until the 8th of February ok that's a good one that's a very good one um, the other thing is so the portrait your portrait prize I can see well in this painting <laughs> potentially there's a lot of portraits but um, have you done much more portrait head and shoulder type work um, um, a few yeah um, I suppose the portraits are always something that kind of run in parallel to whatever main projects mm. I'm doing but um, there's one upstairs you can check out ok the plan maybe for the next year is to kind of work exclusively in portraiture and all right well you might you might then uh, i can invite you on, a, on air as they say i've just set up uh, portraiture mail oh, and we have a launch event yeah probably in westport house the beautiful oh. house in westport oh, right. i met with the marketing manager just um i hope she i hope she is listening actually she did agree <laughs> so that we can use that because they have a portrait collection a classical portrait collection okay. of probably 40 plus paintings. Oh. So I must remind myself to put you yeah. on the envelope by that. Look, Jerry, I won't give Hoyang. I know people are arriving, so thanks for the intro to that. I, I'll go ahead and cover most of the paintings as I can and start posting that for you. All the best. Good luck with the show. Thanks, Pat. Hi, Jerry. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.